Hi, it's Sonia here. Um, I'm putting together a video with a couple of clips from the weekend. Uh, like, I think I go through a bit of work and then I've made a process video of uh, an abstract page in my sketchbook. I wanted to share, it's like Tuesday morning now, I wanted to share um, some other things I've been working on and I'm going to continue working on. Like, um, I'm definitely into preparing, as you've seen, backgrounds. So if I've got a bit of time and a bit of paint, I've been making, uh, yeah, like just making backgrounds here, for example, I'm coming and preparing sketchbooks. So this one is, oh gosh, this is going to fall apart. This is ready to go and to be painted on. So it's a nice way of finishing off an art session and um, it really does help to just prepare some papers uh, ahead of time. And the other thing, like I was joking about recycling my kids, uh, well, artwork with permission. I do, I do. For example, my friend had a play date yesterday and they're in here and he's made this nice abstract. I'm gonna double check with him. But generally, like, he'll do a lot of work and then he he really doesn't want to keep it. So actually, I was just thinking, and for myself, this sort of size of paper, probably actually with Christmas, this could also be reused, I was thinking, as wrapping paper nicely. And then keep the wrapping paper to then reuse as collage. So, um, but yeah, but a lot of the time I do, because the kids, I mean, I go through my artwork and declutter it. They often have to go through their artwork and they'll be like, no, I don't want that anymore. Mummy, you can recycle it. But like, I can paint over this. It was, I think I bought a load of cheaper sort of drawing paper. It's better than printer paper, but it was, uh, I think I bulk buy some paper for them. But I can reuse this. This can be reused to make more artwork. But I understand, like I, I'm trying like not to make, to let them feel they can just create um, what they want. For example, this was underneath here was the drawer. They did a drawing and I've been using this bit of paper and just adding more and more paint to it. And now it's like building up into a nice abstract or a bit of paper that can then be reused for um, collage. So I can cut sections out to make a collage with. And I shown, I don't know, that was just playing around on a coloured background. Here is, yeah, I love, under here is like, they did some sort of drawings. I really like, I'm going to try and keep those. I feel like I'm going to go on top of them all, but like layering, just doodling paint and things to make the sheet of paper I will reuse in some fashion. But it's just fun. I mean, sometimes I just feel the need to make marks. They obviously... The kids feel the same way too, they've drawn some hexagons. So yeah, that is it. So I will then talk over the process video because it's um, an abstract page and um, I'm feeling in that zone at the moment. So we'll see how this goes. All right then, thanks. It's Saturday evening and I'm just going to, I think, do a little bit of art. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I thought I'd just quickly share a couple of work, well, three works on paper that um, I've, a couple of which I did together last week. So I've been preparing paper ahead of time, which is something I've learned to do, especially when I've got excess paint left over, rather than like cleaning it off or even trying to keep it wet for the next day. I try and just use it up on um, sketchbooks or on bits of old paper. Like sometimes I recycle the kids' art. Um, that sounds terrible. It's, but it's art that they don't want anymore, that they're happy for me, they were gonna chuck it. So, but like if it's just pencil, I can paint over it rather than just put it in, in the recycling bin. Um, so yeah, so these are like uh, works on paper with um, I think acrylic, this is a matte acrylic with then I think I've more acrylic on top. It's basically an acrylic gouache. And I've just tried to keep uh, simple shapes, simple compositions. I don't know if these are finished. I'm not compelled, I just don't feel like I'm gonna add anything to them, especially not tonight. One other thing that I think I wanted to share that I spoke about in a previous video is this work on paper. 
which I did ages ago. I just sort of dug it out, dug it up. Um, but it was from, I was trimming off because like, I can't fit them into my scanner, some works on paper. So I was trimming these works down so they'd fit. And all the trimmings therefore, because it had all the, the these really nice, I don't know if you can see it, like it was it's cheap gouache that I was using up at the time, like this Himi gouache that I wanted to get rid of. So I was doing really big, loose paintings and I had all these strips and then I like collaged them together. It was quite fun to collage them together. And then I've used this for uh, a surface to draw on with, I think this is like, I think it's acrylic ink and then some oil pastel. And yeah, it's, it is what it says it is. But it's, that was just a fun idea. I don't know if people trim their works, um, but yeah, I'm now keeping, uh, keeping the uh, off cuttings. Right, so I'm going to get on with some art and let's see what I do. Okay, so this is the abstract sketchbook spread I completed. I think it was on Saturday. Um, basically, I was really in the mood to do something very simple and relaxing. So this is one where I think I had an idea of how I wanted to fill this spread. And I had this old abstract painting that I'm cutting up on paper um, and I didn't want it anymore. So I'm gonna, I thought I'd recycle it into strips and I would make sort of a page of uh, collage strips and then add some just simple sort of dot mark marks in between the strips. So this is one where I actually did kind of have a plan and the beauty of, I think, abstract art or doodle art is it is so open, there's so much freedom within the genre as it were, because sometimes, you know, you can um, just go by how you're feeling, be very intuitive, but other times like maybe you do have a, you've uh, been, you know, got some ideas from other artists or you've got some ideas for how you see that page turning out. Uh, depending on the materials you've got to hand. This uh, page took around, it's a real, real time video and it took about seven minutes or so. I did edit out a bit because there's one section which I like jogged the camera arm. It's like one of those bendy arm um, set up and it really wobbled so I did edit that out. But yeah, this is just um, in general, like this is a pretty quick and easy spread to do. I think the other thing that I am aware of is, again, like it, art making does require different levels of effort. And I know, I know that a lot of people, like if you're caring, or you've got other responsibilities, work, worries, like maybe sometimes you, there isn't a lot of, as it were, mental energy for, even for creativity at the end of the day. So I think something like this actually doesn't require, it requires less, um, almost, I think um, you can almost just get into a sort of a, a meditative flow. Like you don't, I don't think it's as tiring as say, for example, um, for me, portraiture, actually does require quite a lot of concentration and focus. And I can, if I've really been on working on details, like I can feel um, like a little bit mentally fatigued at the end of uh, painting portraits. I really do, I think, yeah, we should appreciate when you go to these portrait galleries, like people, you know, work, artists do work. Like it's, it is, um, and the different types of art require different levels of, Bit mental energy and also if you think about the other thing to appre to appreciate is um physicality like I remember listening to a podcast I think with Tracy Emin and she's been you know was very unwell and yeah these big canvases that requires um physically you to be in a good zone to like be splashing paint around moving canvases tidying up so I feel like hopefully I'm trying to show um share some different techniques for for where, where you're at because I know week on week day on day um with worries and things that are going on like that um how we the energy that we have the time we have can vary and it's the same it's the same kind of with me um so yeah and then I also think this sort of art uh is and um, also can be then used if you I mean my walls are kind of chock-a-block with uh I do have quite a lot of my own art up and the kids' art, but if I did need to, I wanted to frame 
some more art, I had some space, then I was thinking this sort of uh, composition, like actually if you s turned it around, maybe I'd have it vertically, is that the right word? Um, would be quite a nice nice piece for the a wall if you could, if one could get a uh, reasonably priced frame. Um, yeah, it's quite a fun design for uh, wall art as well. And yes, yeah, so where are we up to? We're coming to the last, I think I've got three more minutes. I'm just adding in, just enjoying the process of the oil pastels, like the feel of the oil pastels making those. The, it's a nice creamy texture with some of these um, ones. And I enjoy, I enjoy like making these dots. Um, so yeah, this was a very kind of meditative, I'd say, piece. Not so like busy and sometimes like I like the other ones I've been working on uh, just as a tip as well is also I do appreciate as artists um, and if we're using our hands sometimes our dominant hand can get a bit tight or um, so one technique because obviously you don't want to like over you know strain it is to use the opposite hand for uh, mark making as well so I did a, earlier in the sketchbook I did somewhere I also used my right hand to make marks and I love that because there is a lack of a real lack of control using my don a non-dominant hand so you get some really interesting sort of like raw scribbles that um yeah so that's another idea for days that maybe you know you want to make you want to make some marks but you want to do it with your um other hand so yes and then is there anything else I want to mention no, just thank you as always for watching my videos and um, yeah, for people who've subscribed and comments. Uh, um, I do appreciate it. And yeah, no, thank you very much. And yes, this video is, I've got about another minute left. As you can probably tell, um, I don't like, uh, I don't over edit my videos because it's, uh, so they're, they're not going to be, I'm not, I'm, I'm not aiming to make uh, slick videos or for um, brilliant cinematography, at least not at the moment. Uh, one of the ways I'm kind of like getting videos out frequently is I'm trying to focus on um, sharing my process. Uh, and yeah, I film more, for anybody who's thinking about set, uh, doing their own um, YouTube channels, this is all, I do use my iPhone and iMovies and yes i just i think the more you do it sometimes it makes the process pretty quick like i now know it took me a while to like work out how to upload um, videos and the whole you know stop making a thumbnail um but it's for anybody who's thinking about it it is totally um doable i'm not a i'm not brilliant at tech so yeah any questions about that feel free to ask as well all right it's come to the end so i'm gonna say bye bye